All right, so not to piss off any car dealers, but I used to be one. Some of the thoughts that I'm gonna tell you in this video that I used to think of when I was selling cars, day to day, customer to customer, you're gonna look at car shopping a little bit differently. You're gonna start thinking exactly how a car salesperson typically thinks, or at least the ones that are actively trying to get a deal done with you, not just showing you the car. What is happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting and in the description below, you're gonna find links to help you not only shop around for the best deal, check around for incentive information, as well as calculate payments. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. Now I've got a list of like 10, 15, different thoughts that went through my mind as a car salesperson. And I wanna start off by just telling you, not every car salesperson is gonna think exactly like how I or a few of my associates that I know are thinking these thoughts. Not everybody thinks the same way. Some people are just not as active thinkers as others. Number one, as soon as a person walks into the dealership, I'm thinking to myself, does this person already have an appointment? Half the time when somebody walks in, you don't wanna make an outstanding greeting because you might be wasting your time. That person could already be assigned to somebody else or is somebody else's customer. Number two, if that person didn't have a person they were working with and they wanted to take a test drive, you were kind of hesitant, especially if I was at BMW, because you don't know if that person's gonna kill you on the test drive. So I'm thinking in my head, is this person gonna get us into some trouble today? Number three, because we were a city dealership, a lot of the people that walked in, you weren't even sure if they had a social security number. So I'm thinking in the back of my head, is this guy even gonna get approved for credit? Number four, unfortunately, because we had a lot of foot traffic at that dealership, I got a lot of people that were just coming in just to check out the car and then they had to create some crazy excuse and I'm thinking in my head, what crazy excuse am I gonna hear today for this person to be able to fly out of the dealership? Number five, unfortunately, because of this, I was always curious, what is my manager thinking is going on right now? Is he thinking that I'm getting my time wasted or am I gonna get absolutely annihilated as soon as I go up to the sales desk? Is he gonna tell me, why are you killing all your time with these people? <laughs> Number six, one of the most common thoughts that went through my mind, especially if that person had a trade-in, I was thinking to myself, I really, really hope I don't have to go into the whole spiel about why KBB isn't an accurate source for this person to gauge how much their trade-in value is worth. I constantly had to explain to people that KBB is only just some sort of ballpark. The dealership is not gonna take the car in for KBB. Number seven, something random. I couldn't stand after the deal was done when they asked for things to get tossed in to the deal. So one of the most common things that I thought to myself, I really hope this person doesn't ask me for all weather floor mats. Press the like button if you've asked your salesperson for all weather floor mats after everything was all said and done. Number eight, you know you've been there before when you're trying to take out your phone to snap a picture. Number eight was, in my head, I was really, really hoping they weren't gonna snap a picture of the deal sheet. You know the quote sheet that they bring out to show you payments and the structure of the deal? That was when I knew that they were gonna go home and shop around the deal. Speaking of which, there's a link in the description below. It's my recommendation to go around to shop for the best possible deal, estimate payments, and check incentive information. Number nine, if I couldn't close the deal, I was worried that the customer was gonna hate me after I called over the sales manager. One of the most common thoughts that went through my head was, was this person is gonna despise me when I call over Jerry or Tom or whatever to come over and say goodbye to them. Number 10, if the person had a bad experience, the only thing that was going through my head was, was this person is gonna bury me on our survey, on our customer satisfaction survey. The reason why this was so, so important to me was is the fact that the customer satisfaction survey accounted for a large part of my commission check. If that person had a bad experience, I was literally thinking about this in bed until they took the survey. Number 11, I was really hoping after they agreed to the deal and got into the finance office, I was really hoping that they bought some extra products like wheel and tire and extended warranty or something because that meant extra commission. I was hoping, I was getting them primed to buy an extra warranty. 
This is one of the most common thoughts. You were wondering when that person got out, you were wondering if they bought anything in addition because that meant a few extra bucks on your commission check. Number 12, if this person asks me to take delivery on my day off, I'm gonna punch them. Many times I'd get somebody that came in, bought a car, and then just coincidence, hey, can I take delivery on your day off? We're always hoping that when we ask the question, when do you wanna take delivery, that it's not on our day off. And number 13, do not ask me to deliver the car to you. I was crossing my fingers hoping this person doesn't say, hey, do you think you can drop off the car? Because we were selling BMWs, high-end vehicles, a lot of these people were like, oh, can you drop off the car to my city office, have trouble parking, et cetera. Any sort of inconvenience you could think of, these customers were asking us to go through it. This is what your car salesperson is thinking, especially if you live in the city. Number 14, lastly, I was always wondering, is this person, maybe they know somebody that might be looking for a car, like I was being extra kiss ass at the end, like, hey buddy, by any chance, you think you can refer me to your friend? Keep that in mind by telling a car salesperson, hey, by the way, I got a lot of friends or I got a lot of people on social media that I could probably blast out your name to if we can get this deal done. It's a good one to keep in the back pocket. As I mentioned before, links in the description below where you can shop around for a new car deal, estimate payments, check incentive information, etc. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.